Hello everyone, my name is Matt Stevens and I'm the founder of Chatham Oaks Growth Solutions out of Cape Cod. Uh, today I'm partnering with Zapier to showcase one use case of the Zapier table stool. I've actually had the table stool integrated within my own firm's onboarding basically since it's come out uh, and I've instituted it within a few different clients in various different ways. Some kind of mirroring what we've done within Chatham Oaks. But one thing that I'd like to showcase is one aspect of our onboarding, which consists of utilizing Upwork, which again is every agency and freelancer's favorite tool. Um, it, jokes aside, Upwork is an extremely valuable tool for a lot of freelancers and agencies. And honestly, a lot of freelancers and agencies use it as their main source of income. Uh, but one thing that can really bog down your day to day is consistently checking the feed, finding opportunities for you, deciding if it's worth the connects, and then pitching the opportunity on making sure that you have everything that you need. So in order to streamline that, what we wanted to do is actually just use a basic vetting, utilizing a chat GPT assistant and information pulled into the tables tool in order to decide whether or not a particular opportunity is a good one for chat. Uh, so what we did is we did two things. Number one is we built an assistant within ChatGPT on 4.0 uh, to understand what is a three, aka the highest priority, a two, a middle priority, and a one, which is we it really is not a good fit. And also discern whether it's within an SEO, general automation, or email automation segment uh, of our business. And what we did is we queued that up within our table to really accept that information, right? We have our source coming in. So taking a brief look at this table, I mean, this is where most of the leads are ending up. But with the new views update, uh, typically I'm looking at this Upwork view. We previously used this table for all of our leads, but now we specifically utilize it for Upwork. And as you can see, there's a lot that come in on a day to day. Um, and then you have your inquiry topic and then you have your message. Message is great because it's going to include information on what service that they're offering, the type of company, the hourly range, category marketing automation, skills, which again is always nice to see, uh, this right here. Um, as well as just making sure that your requirements, uh, so the beautiful thing is, is as soon as this is pulled into our, our section, immediately uh, it triggers that assistant to go through the opportunity and decide whether it's in one, a two, or three. The chat GPT prompt, which is in the inquiry vetting right here, uh, let me zoom in, fit uh, right here to actually get a better understanding of, okay, is it a really solid fit for the company? And then if it is, it's a three. If it's not, it's a one. And then right in the middle, the twos are then put into a Slack thread. All that information is gathered from this Upwork view. We used to do this through tables. Um, and we actually still do it with our other leads, creating different emails, as well as some deliverables that we can send over utilizing table prompts. But this is how it used to look. And tables really helped us kind of, especially the view update, helped us refine how uh, we're kind of going through this. So as you can see, new lead and lead list, pitch to lead, and then you have the lead onboarding or if it's not good, it's deleted. But now with views, it makes us a lot easier to kind of go through the best opportunities, decide what is the best. And then additionally, we use a very similar inquiry vetting uh, zap in order to do this as well. Um, and this is for all of our, our leads. Right now, we're working on changing it to integrate the views within tables on a greater level. And for some of our clients, we're actually using those views as different pages within a CRM as well as the buttons within the Zapier tables as easy ways to send either email warmups or requests for deliverables. Um, and we're kind of circling that within a quick CRM that we can then make sure that people have what they need in order to run their business at the scale right in their fingertips. So Zapier tables has definitely helped us tremendously in building really what we'd like to simplify within our clients as well as the people that we just consult. Thanks, guys.